हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज योर फेवरेट सर एम जी का लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन फॉरेस्ट वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सिस पार्ट टू सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट द फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सिस टुडे वी गो फर्दर लेट्स हैव अ लुक सो टुडे टॉपिक फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज अ वाइल्ड लाइफ डाइवर्सिटी एज यू ऑल नो इंडिया इज फुल ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द लैंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द रिवर्स oceans we have a many things so we have also the wildlife diversity the large biodiversity we have we have a variety of insects birds animals and vegetation if we talk about the whole world there are total 15 lakh species of them in india we have a 81251 species it's a huge and if we talk about the rank of india we are on the 12th we are on the 12th rank if we talk about the rank of india in the terms of biodiversity we have animals from asia africa and europe we have african zerac european wolf wild goats kashmiri deer and elephants even we have a black bear one or rhino deer and different type of snakes peacocks gorad hawk kingfisher and flamingo in india if you go to the north in himalayas we have a snow leopards and a red panda there in our country the tiger and the lions are only animals they have their national awards in the country in the winter season we found many migratory birds that come to india For an example, Kerala Dev National Park at our Bharatpur, Rajasthan, and Nal Sarovar in Gujarat. These are the places where we found the migratory birds that comes to India in the winter season. Even we have a sea turtle on the coast of Odisha that lay their eggs at the coast of Odisha. And the last but not the least, Indian python, king cobra. snakes are found in southern rain forest so these are the different diversity we have learned these are the list just a little list about our diversity second thing second topic of the day it's a wildlife extinction wildlife extinction means what the animal dead the animal that are come to an end their species are so rare available in the india or in the world so many wild animal in the world are on verge of extinction tiger was found during the last century in the forest of either ambaj and dada today chitta and tiger total extinct from the gujarat forest so we have we are very known that chitta that our pm narendra modi shri narendra modi brought the chitta from the africa and the tiger are totally come to extinction so we we do not have that much tiger right now in our gujarat forest birds like a vulture duck with a pink throat cranes and all that totally extinct from the gujarat so vulture that we have seen the vulture is the most uh, uh, cruel animal one one kind of cruel animal that eats dead animals or dead bodies of the human also <coughs> even all are also not found in gujarat chilotra bird that fall that mostly found in Arun, arunachal pradesh now not seen anywhere so fresh water alligator alligator dolphin of ganga river turtle of odisha they are constantly decrease just cause of global warming or we can say we do not have that much species we do not we cannot reproduce them we cannot reprocure them that's the reason their number of uh number of species are constantly decrease even we have waterfall that is called jal bilari of narmada tapi mahi and sabarmati river of gujarat is almost extinct so <coughs> sorry we have to be a serious now because if we do not have a look on this in the near future we do not have a that much kind of birds or nadrut kind of variety of birds and animal in our gujarat forest so think about this 
so what are the restriction of wildlife why they are decreasing due by uh, day by day so first reason is first reason is interference of a human in a grassland in a watershed we all know that human are interact anywhere everywhere now we need we are cutting forest we are building our constructions instead of we have to afforestation we are doing deforestation and that's a harm this uh, wildlife also destruction of forest is the main resource reason for the natural imbalance hunting the human are hunting for their skin bones hair and horns for whom they are uh, human is hunting animal to get their skin to get their bones to get their hair or the, to get their horns with this they me made a different kinds of medicines and different kind of products for of day to day use over exploitation of forest made by men so this men made lots of forest but what kind of forest they build they build roads and buildings and homes in the place of the forest and what this then displaces the wild animal forest land are being encroached for grass fuel and grazing so forest forest land are now using for what for fuel or for grazing of a dem uh, domestic animal domestic animal forest fire engulfs many species and the most recent that is a natural causes forest fire is a natural causes this causes this can hurt many species wide species especially young ones or a egg of the animal or a bird this hurt in the case of a forest fire due to less the natural efforts if the any animal lost their natural efforts what they do they come to in the, uh, they come to the city area and contact with the human and with the conflict of the human they lost their lives so these are the basic reason that uh, we have to focus why this uh why this wildlife is going it distinct day by day extinct day by day so here is here is the small animal that is called red panda they are not seen in uh, most of in india right now mostly they found in himalayan area but it is also come to an extinction extinction they found in eastern himalayas what he eat bamboo shrubs eggs and small birds it is less active during the day time so we can say it is a kind of a lazy lazy animal it is not uh, working so hard and it is found in india china nepal bhutan and myanmar of the world places so what we can do with this we can preserve the our wild animal first thing first we have to change our attitude and perceptions towards our forest second what we think and that is a big mistake we think that consider the forest as a source of unlimited income and that must we have to change if we need to uh, protect our forest we preserve our forest or preserve our wildlife maintain balance between the herbivores and carnivores maintain water resources stop grazing domestic animal so we have to ma maintain continuous maintaining in a balance between the herbivores and carnivores we must have to maintain a balance between herbivores and carnivores and even we have to maintain water resources and most thing we have to stop grazing domestic animal in the forest we must have to create a strict law it's law we have to create a strict law to ban hunting we must have to ban hunting and it must be implemented very harsh, harshly we must have to implement this very harshly and if anyone break this law or uh, disobey this law we must have to give punishment to that person or that company and that punishment must be very strict necessary to make a such arrangement for dnd during the lab procreative period of animal we must have to stop to human interface in human interfere during the procreative pro period of a human uh, animal we have to we uh, steps should be made about the likely effect of a fisheries forest and gathering or tourism in the forest 
Now we must have to stop these activities in the forest and awareness program should be arranged. Awareness to whom? To whom? Awareness to the humans that we have to stop this thing. If we are not going to stop this thing today, that affects after some years. And what happens that? We have to buy uh, oxygen bottles also from the market area because after 20 or 40 years there are there may be a, a issues of the oxygens active wildlife protection force and road process to work perfect we have to create a active wildlife protection force like a, B, a bsf or the police force we must have a active wildlife protection force and give them a pressure to work perfect on this here is a very beautiful animal uh, we all know it's a human frankly and it is a Ganga river dolphin so we can also call it Platanista Gangatika this is the dolphin of the Ganga river this dolphin is mostly found in the river Brahmaputra and uh, Ganga river and this is the fresh water species generally it lives in the river having a deep and calm water flow so this animal lives mostly in a deep area of the river it is found in the ganga river which flow through one of the densely populated region of the world and this animal found this gangetic dolphin found in the most densely populated area of the world due to release of a dirty water in the river sedimentation due to deforestations so nowadays what happens we are releasing a dirty water in the Ganga river or the Brahmaputra river we are releasing a sedimentations uh, sedimentation got from the deforestations we are doing fisheries we are doing irrigation in the river so someone put some companies uh, leave their industrial waste in this river and a cause of this cause of this this animal is to be existence very soon Apart from Ganga and Brahmaputra river, there are few such dolphins left in the Chambal river. It comes to surface very often to breathe, making a su su like sound. So this animal take a breath and they often come to the surface of the river and try to breathe. And while breathing, it makes a sound like a su su. And just for this, it is known, it's, uh, it has another name like sounds su su or sus. It also found in the river of our neighbors Nepal and Bangladesh. At present, the existence of a Ganga river dolphin is in danger. <coughs> so these are the basic details about this um, gangetic dolphin. So these are the some schemes that run by the government or uh, state government or the central government of India and why they run these schemes they run this scheme just cause of to save the animal which are in danger or which are extinct in the near future the first thing first these are the tiger project in the 20th century in the 20th century we have a 40,000 or more than 40,000 tiger in the beginning but due to the unrestricted eagle hunting and deforestation big danger on a tiger tiger comes to an end because we do not keep eye on this unrestricted illegal hunting and just cause of this nowadays we are we do not have that much tiger this uh, tiger project implement uh, come to an action in 1971 and they this project run to step to save their natural habitats save their means uh, save the natural habitats of the tiger and maintain their ecological balance uh, right now it is implemented in 44 region of India second project is the elephant project that is started in 1992 why this project runs this project runs cause of provide and protect the natural habitats through the elephant uh, we have a total 26 protection zones right now we have total 26 protection zone right now and after this project increment found in the number of elephant so these are the two projects and many more projects we have that we learn. Uh, there is a rhino pro project, crocodile project, or the vulture project. 
these are also run for to save the different kinds of animal and to save their species so why they run a rhino project they run a rhino project just to uh, save the rhino and this kind of rhino found in assam most of assam area uh, even we have found this rhino in a sundarban at a bengal state rhino vision 2020 says we have a state rhino vision in 2020 and their target their target is uh, they need to increase the number of rhino to the 3000 it is that it is them goal second is a crocodile project species of alligator found in the freshwater about to in 1970 the government of india took a timely steps so the crocodile project is also done in 1970 just cause of we do not have a that much crocodile right now alligator right now uh, the alligator space uh, crocodile is a species of alligator in this alligator we have one crocodile and another is a gadial so we are going to save the crocodile that has a, a large mouth while the gadial has a slim mouth third project fifth project is the vulture project vulture is the cleanliness of nature he has even we also known this and uh, bird as a geed in hindi or in gujarati it is a it's called geed it meets a uh, it may uh, it eats meat of a dead animal and we have a different nine subspecies of this vulture this project was started in 2004 so these are the common project that uh, run by the indian government to save the particular animal or to run uh, to save their natural awards uh, these are the two things uh, that we most uh, make it common but bo both the animals are different one is leapers and another is a cheetah so as a look <coughs> so at one looks we found it both are the same but uh, look at their structure it is a different on the cheetah that the back round dots but while in uh, leapers we have a not a particular it is a line or different kind of textures found on the body of the leapers while the cheetah has the same structure of the dots leaper belongs to the cat family it holds a smaller knee stature compared to the lion and tiger so leaper is a uh, not that much heighted as compared to the lion and tiger it is found everywhere in india it is also found a dark black color so if you remember the bagheera in the jungle book it's a black panther, black leopard. You know, black leopard is also found in uh, India also. It is found large number forest of Gujarat. So leopard is also found in Gujarat, and it often comes to human settlement. People unknowingly called it cheetah also. So as a uh, just a similar structure, someone says leopard to the cheetah also. But the cheetah is a different species of animal. It has a black round spots. It is a bit smaller but it is uh, faster in runner running it also exists from the forest in india today we do not have any number of cheetah in the india our prime minister sri 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 narendra modi sri brought uh, five to seven cheetah from the africa and right now uh, they are not uh, available also in india just cause of they are not uh, living the habitations of india and that's why they they are they <coughs> they are about to die next project is the snow leopard project here you can see the beautiful snow leopard this mostly found in the attitude of a 3000 meter and mostly on himalayas this project started in 2018 to increase the knowledge about the leopard among the local people so we have learned many project about five projects that project uses for to increase the number of animals but this no leopard project to make just to having a knowledge about this animal to the local people next uh, another project like this a uh, kashmari hangul project red panda project manipur tamil project for deer and ganga dolphin project these are the dif different kind of pro project and you must have to take have a look from google on this project because may be possible 
in the examination you found some question on this also so here is the one horn rhino this uh, this horn is used to make a medicine this found in a region of a brahmaputra and a sundarban and this horn is used to preparing a different kind of medicine it is a herbivore animal it's used mostly it eats mostly kind of a plants and due to the item of this protection its number has increased next topic is very important topic and uh, this is the last topic of our chapter and it is a century nasal park and bio reserve so at one look these three names are same it what at one look these three names are same but still they have a different characteristics so let's have a look on century nasal park and the bio reserve so first of all we go with the century century is a uh, Sanchi is a place where human activity is permitted within a certain limit. You can enter and you can <clears throat> you can enter to the this area, but you must have a permission for this. Domestic animal allowed to graze there, graze after the permission. You have to take a permission from the government or the local authority to graze your animal in this area. Wildlife sanctuary is established for the protection of some species. Now uh, we establish this sanctuary for the protection of a some species. And the sanctuary can be established by the government after the certain process. To build a sanctuary, uh, government also have to do some process and after that process we can build a sanctuary. So here are famous century of the in India: Pariya century, Chandrapurba century, or Atungaman, Atunagaram century in India. Second is the national park. So national park is a more protected zone. We cannot enter with permission, not with permission, not without permission. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this uh, national park include more than one ecosystem. and it has a complete ban on animal grazing uh, but it is not center on one species there are different kinds of species also available in the national park coordination of a state and center sorry coordination of a state and uh, coordination of a state and central government so in the national park there is a coordination between the state and the central government of india uh, we have a different kind of national park kaziranga crobet valwavadar marine national park gir and dachigang these are the name of the national park available in india and the last topic of the day is the bio reserve zone so this reserve uh, this bio reserve zone is perform according to international law if we need if we will to buy reserve zone we have to follow some international norms or we have to follow some international rules and regulations why we build this what is the purpose of this to protect the physical and the cultural diversity of any region and vegetation insects land lifestyle of a people of that area all are protected so most important point this is the most important point what are the protected in the bio reserve zone so vegetations insects wild uh, land of that area lifestyle of people this all are thing under protected special element are created for the research and training and all extant human remains are totally restricted we cannot enter here it is the most restricted area we cannot here enter here uh, that area is about 5000 square kilometer and what is what are the important bio reserve right now we have nilgiri gulf of mannar great nicobar sundarban and panchmadi these are the important bio reserve and the most important point the most important point keep it in your mind this point is very important as far examination is concerned the run of kutch of gujarat is also included in bio reserve in 2008 why to protect its special environment of condition the run of 
the run of kutch has a special kind of environment and that to protect that environment indian government made this area to bio reserve in 2008 so we have a total uh, 18 bar protection zone in india 103 national park 531 century if we talk about the gujarat we have one bar protected zone and that is a run of gujarat we have a total four national park and total we have a 23 century available in gujarat so these are the today's topic <coughs> these are the different kind of topic we have gone through and you must have to make a notes of this and this is all the notes are very important for your examination point of view uh, this map uh, showing this map showing a different wildlife century uh this is the heart and bird century and the national park and wildlife century you can see the symbol of blue for wildlife century you can see the star symbol for the bird century and you can see the triangle symbol for the national park so if we talk about the gujarat we have a three different kind of national park available and one is a bird century in a uh, jainor about uh, rajasthan or uh, rajasthan border or gujarat border we have a wildlife century even in india there are so many wildlife century we can found here so this map is very important as a point uh, as examination point of view so make it uh, draw this map this is the most important you will get the direct marks from this map and the last topic these are the two animal so these are the two unique animal we cannot say these are the uh, animal but these are two are unique animal of uh, gujarat or india so this halatro halatro found in the run of kutch of gujarat it is kind of a it's live in mostly in desert or grassland area or semi desert area and uh, it's uh, found in banni and and in narayan sarovar centuries it can be identified as slightly taller than fox its height is uh, its height is bit taller than the fox and has a fl fleshy round mouth see just look at its mouth it has a round perfect round mouth and it has a long high ears you know it has a high ears it has a smaller birds what it eats small birds or animal and now it is about to extinct but uh, its existence can be known by its uh, footprints and the dugong dugong it's a aquatic animal it's a very small number along western sea coast of india besides it is also found along the sea coast of east africa south east asia northern coast of australia these are the places where this dugong is found sea grass land sea grass what it eats sea grass and vegetation but sometimes it is some aquatic small aquatic animal also it is widely hunted for its meat and fat human hunt this animal cause of to eat its meat and uh, its fat is very important to make some medicines also earlier this dugong was found frequently along the gujarat coast but right now uh, this is not found in or were rarely found in gujarat coast so <coughs> with this the last topic we are concluding our today's session thank you very much for watching my video very peacefully and we'll back with new chapter and new content thank you very much all of you sign out